Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hello, everybody. We are back to talk the series and season premiere, The Golden Bachelorette. Uh, make sure you're like subscribed here, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all of your Bachelor Nation coverage. We cover The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, all the golden franchises, Bachelor in Paradise. We got you covered. Brian, uh, Joan's back. We were excited. We did a preview special, so we felt like we had a little bit of knowledge on these guys, but uh, a party two-hour premiere for for the guys to yuck it up a little bit. A lot of dads patting each other on the back, a lot of dad tears. Mm -hmm. uh, look, overall, like this is a very much a fresh of breath air compared to the main franchise, right? I We are not going to be coming into these reviews with the toxic energy that we've sucked up from watching one of the main franchises, the golden stuff's great. These guys are great. I don't think you're going to get many or if any arguments, they're just going to yuck it up for a few weeks in a mansion. So I, I enjoyed the premiere. We we'll get into all the details, but I, I liked it. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it too. I think that, like you said, I think it's really hard to, these guys are mature. And I think the best scene to describe that in my opinion is them all coming out to play pickleball. That whole scene, that would never happen on the main series. They're all smacking and yeah. taking it serious. No one's trying to big dog anybody yeah. to like show mm -hmm. out on anything. They're all just being goofy and knowing that this is an awkward thing. Let's just make yeah. the best out of it. And I just I even thought Joan was looked like really comfortable in it and like they were all having fun. And like that scene, like that to me is like you can't do that on the main show. And I think that's kind of what is becoming the problem. Is like everybody here, like they obviously want to get to know Joan, but like they all seem like good dudes. Like you said, they talked about their families. Like everyone has a bonding moment here where it's like, I lost somebody. I have grandkids. Like there's things here. And like, why would they come on the show for fame to begin with? Uh, but I, I love the, I didn't think I would like it because we usually roll our eyes at this type of stuff, but I actually really like the messages from home in the beginning, because guess what? Like why <laughs> wait, why wait? Ten? No, but I, I thought about it. I'm like, especially on one like this, it's like, why do you got to wait? 10 weeks to maybe see the light side of someone or the loving side of them, right? Like how much time did that take up? And because also be fair, they're not boozing like the other people are boozing on that first night. Right. So like they got to fill some time up. And so I thought it wasn't like a terrible exercise. Um, it, also these guys, it's so different than the regular franchise because they're just not hunting her. They're not like hunting her time. They're not yeah. hunting each other. You have like Charles going around the mansion the entire night being like, this is a nice fridge. Look at mm -hmm. this fixture. I like these. Like, and it was so damn wholesome. Like, that's real. Like, that's what like your dad would be doing. Like, if your dad was on this show, he probably wouldn't be trying to like spit game in front of 30 dudes. He'd probably be walking around checking out nice houses. Right. And my, my only um, rebuttal to the, the videos, I just... To me, that's why this episode was two hours. So I'm obviously going to be negative against it. I just thought it was too long. It could have been way sped up. Like we didn't even see everybody, but I just thought some of them, like we had to watch it and then she would turn around and be like, oh. so that's my only negative of the episode is like, I don't want to be here every week for two hours. I don't. I don't think it's going to be two hours every week. The whole golden bachelor was a week, was an hour every week. So, I mean, we can go and check the listings or people comment if you know, if not, but I, I do think. I do think an hour works better for that franchise. It does. Uh, but like I said, I, and it, for a premiere, especially a series premiere, technically, hey, yeah. that's okay. We, you do the intros, everything like that. Intros were fine. Uh, they are obviously a little bit more tempered down compared to uh, the ones that the, the, the main franchise would have. Did you have any standout ones, Brian? Um, <laughs> the guy who is pretending that he's really old and then he did push-ups, I thought was funny. Um, that's Charles. That was Charles, K. right? Charles K. Yeah, the prune juice shot was funny. Um, <laughs> prune juice shot was funny. Uh, what else do I have that I thought was good? I some of them just, I mean, just clever. Um, I I didn't love the fake home video one. I thought that one was kind of corny. A little bit of production value yeah, in that yeah. one there, but again, it was something that to me nothing seemed like a crazy stretch. Right? These are all. The one thing yeah. that was funny though is, and I we mentioned this in our preview special, but. These are not like most of these are not regular dudes. All of these dudes owned companies, were doctors, finance dudes. Not there's the one guy who's a, a teacher, and he was the it seems like he's the only other normal. And then our boy, uh, Jack the caterer, walking around with his pink suit, just narrating the I was really glad they didn't eliminate him. I'm like, he's the voice of the people, man. We we need him around for a little bit at least. I, yeah, I. 
don't know. Based off the preview, I feel like he might be like a week three exit. Week four. Yeah, his picture in the preview cast preview with the leather jacket really had us going like this dude, Mr. Cool. And he came in like he's at Margaritaville. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's not it's not the vibe I would have got with the pink suit. I would have maybe expected like a darker color. Speaking of that, so we had our picks. Jack was our team pick. I picked Thomas. Spoiler, Thomas goes home, so I'm already out. And you chose um Mark, right? Mark, and he is yeah. still with us, uh, literally and, and in the game. All right, another gripe. Another gripe I have of the show. Or this it's just the franchise in general. The placement of ex contestants, I can't stand. Like just the Kelsey was just like, oh my god, I'm so happy to see you. And then in the preview, like, what the fuck is Jerry doing here? Yeah, <laughs> we're Jerry, aka I call him Gary. Where, yeah. What is Gary doing here? You're a scumbag. You were a scumbag before the show. You're a scumbag after the show. And ABC, like, what are we doing? Yeah, I, what why are, are they doing? allowing? It? You have like a marriage special for him. He I, he better not be trying to get on the show. No, no, that's that's what they want us to. Believe. That's what they want people to. That's what they how they edited it. But there is, it's like it, it, zero chance. That he is coming back. I really hope not. I really hope not. That would make, I think that would. Can you imagine? That would make this show more like the main series. And we don't want that. We don't want this dude to become the Blake. Is that his name? Blake, the zoo man? The guy that's like a safari guy that's like on like a bunch of seasons. Yeah, no, no, you're right. That was Katie Third. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. It was Blake. The only thing with the Jerry coming back, if Jerry comes back, then then he's eligible for House of Villains. (laughs) Like the traitors at this point. Be the nicest villain on the show because everything um, he did is off screen, so we don't like they portrayed him very well. To like, we, this is all like post stuff, yeah. No, 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 for sure. If you're just one of the wholesome viewers, you may not have, besides yeah, you, knowing you that the they broke up, not, obviously, yeah, you don't know anything that's coming on. You may not know about the, the past, Gary, Jerry, how he had other girlfriends and act yeah. like he had never dated prior to the, the show, but anyway, we'll save that for when his but appears mm-hmm. um just a couple of the admin things obviously here for this episode first impression rose went to keith who is the self-proclaimed girl dad i think i mean obviously getting the first impression rose shows that you're a strong contender i actually think he is like a really strong contender i, I mean they a, kissed they had a good vibe they kissed too they just felt like parents to me they felt like they just it just they vibed to me. I, I thought mm-hmm. that I saw a cool connection. So I'm curious to see how that develops. Yeah. No, I I, I thought it was fine. That's the thing. Like you said in the top, like it's really hard to find something negative about somebody at this point in the show. Uh we do have to unfortunately mark that there is a rose ceremony in every episode, and that means that some of the gentlemen uh are not gonna get their second chance of love here. But hey, maybe they woke up there like guy said his he's so grateful he got a rose he's sitting there and crying but he's like you woke up my heart again i literally said out loud i'm like all right guy and then his name was guy i was like oh this is cool. he, he was the dude with the sex panther right the yeah clown. yeah yeah with the fake teeth and everything for sure the veneers mm-hmm. um eliminated this week not getting a second chance at love bill Pablo, who I thought was going to be a strong contender based off the bio, and he lives in Maryland. RJ, Thomas, David, and Ken all eliminated week one. We started with 24. So what does that mean? We're down to uh, 18 18 in week two. Still a large number. So I'm thinking we're losing another like three or four next week. So Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Preview, not too scandalous other than seeing our boy Jerry on there and uh, her, you know, worrying, the, can I go through with this? Very fair question. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, look, we're here for it. A lot of dudes it. crying. Yeah. A lot of, like, um, I saw my ex-wife in, in an animal form, like a Patronus. You get that? Like, I saw a hummingbird. She's talking about her husband no, being she, an eagle or a hawk. Yeah, Michael is her husband, right? And so, like, she's talking about how he's going to be a through line definitely throughout mm-hmm. this story, which, you know, he should be. And it sounds like he was very encouraging of her, you know, pursuing some kind of relationship yeah. post, you know, his illness and such. So, I mean, it's going to be an emotional ride. It's going to connect mm-hmm. with a lot of people. So, I, I am curious to see, like you said, Brian, how that 
how much of that we have throughout the season. So um, like I mentioned, though, we are review. We do review all Bachelor Nation shows. Go check our playlist. It's under Bachelor Franchise. You'll see all the reviews. There are other uh, shows premiering tonight. Also, is the premiere of Survivor 47. So if you're a competitive reality show person, Brian and I will have that review out after this review. Uh, we also have Love is Blind Season 7 coming back October 3rd. Also, Wednesday, look out for a mass review drop for week one house of villains coming back we did a preview special of that uh plenty more as well go check out all of our stuff like i said our social medias will have you covered there but until next week for myself and brian thank you so much for watching peace